Hey everyone, it's Bobby. I wanted to share with you a um, new thing I figured out how to do. I thought you guys might really like this. It's how to make your own photo corners for your mats. Um, for your photo mats. Let me show you a few of them that I've made. And they're, most of them are using Martha Stewart corner punches. And there's one. This one is from this punch. They look cool with one on each corner and then you don't have to the person you give the, the book to doesn't have to use glue they can just stick their photo up under the corners this one is called bubble bath is what that one came from and this is a nut whoops another one those are pretty they look so nice and then this one because photo, photo mat corners are usually black but I thought it'd be neat to make some in colors. This one I wrapped with a ribbon. This one I added a button, a bow, and a little pearl. That would be cute in a baby book. If you had them on all four corners, you know, I just made one of each so that you could see. This one is with a printed paper. That's pretty. And this one I added a little flower to. I thought that would really be neat on all four corners. Isn't that pretty? It's just using uh, two old Stampin' Up! punches that I had. I punched this one out twice, and I don't know the name of it. They may still have it. I'm not sure. And then I punched this little one out once, and I just um, went around the edges of the flower with some ink and put a little pearl in the middle, a flatback pearl. So I thought that was really cute. But I wanted to show you how to make them. They're so easy. Um, first thing you need is your two inch square of cardstock. Just four pieces like this. Then you're going to choose which punch you want. And where's the one I used for this one? Mm, this one. I punched them with this. Then you'll cut each one out. You'll cut the square off opposite your punch corner. And you want to take off the score line too. You want to take that completely out. And then you'll not um, you'll miter this one like you would do a page in a scrapbook that you were folding under. So it looks like that. And you'll fold this under. Burnish it. Fold this one on. I didn't trim enough off that one. I can see it already. I didn't get all the score line off. Just fold that one under. Burnish it. And then you'll just need a little dot of glue on here. You don't want to get too much glue because if it runs over, it's going to seal your corner together. So, that's what that'll look like. Isn't that pretty? And then you just tuck your picture up under it. So let's do that again. Cut out your corner opposite the, the punch that you put in. Might of this section. Fold them under and burnish them. See if I got enough cut off. I think I do. And I can still see the curled edge from the score line. And put that one on. A little bit of glue. Fold it together. And there's what that one looks like with two. I think they're so pretty. I've got so many Martha Stewart punches. And I wanted to show you this one too. This is a piece of that hound's tooth pattern I had left from um, uh, the quadfolio that I did the other day. And I wanted to see what it would look like with this print. So I got four of them ready to go. Just, I hope you guys can see this. 
If we cut away the square opposite, then we're going to miter this one. I'm going to fold them under. See, that one needs to be trimmed just a little bit more. And put a little dot of glue on this tab. Oop, and throw it down. That's required, you have to throw it. Let's do one more so we can have two corners together. Oh, I already mitered this one. Might as well do it. So fold that one down. And that one. Got ink on my hands from doing those little flowers on the other one. My fingers are pink. Okay, we'll put a little spot of glue on here. Okay. Let's see what that looks like. Oops. Oh, that's pretty. I like these. I think they're so cute. Now dress up your page. Did I glue it down? Whoops. Almost. So that's what I was telling you don't do. <laughs> and then I did it. And then when you want to fix them to the page, just put a little dot of glue on the corner so that this stays in place. But those are so pretty. I just, I really like them. I thought you guys might like them as well. So anyway, that's how that one goes. And if you just take, take your punch, we'll do one from scratch here. Since I had the others all started. Just put your two inch square in your punch. Punch the corner. And then let's score it. Uh, let me find this cutting board. It's small. I can use it up here. Move this one with a pin on the button on it. And you're going to score it right down the middle on one inch. Score it in half. I'm just going to use this cutting board because it's easier to put up here since it's small. And we'll score it, turn it around and score it this way. Okay, and then we're going to cut out the one opposite the design. Take off your score line as well. And then we're going to miter this. Fold it under and burnish it. And I just threw my little tool over there. That might be sticking up. It looks like I didn't trim. No, I didn't. I need to trim a little bit more off of there. Didn't trim quite enough. Okay, a little dot of glue. And fold that one up. To burnish it. Let me get this white piece, see what it looks like. And that one is called Flower Garden, I think. And there's that one. That's how easy it is, and they're so quick. They're really, really fun. I think so far my favorite one is this one with the flower. I just really like the little flower on it. Be cute in a little girl's book, too, huh? I think, um, if you oh, my pearl just fell off. If you're doing um, a recipe book, you could put little rolling pins on them. A um, little loaf of bread, all kinds of things you can do with them. So I just thought it was a really nice idea and I wanted to share it with you guys. So I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think and I'll talk to you soon. Bye guys.